I have not done an update in a while. So, let me tell you what's going on. We are working in house two. Clarence is about halfway of uh, cleaning out the litter. You can see all the litter there behind me. And then this way, you can see where he's got cleaned out. I am going to be working on cleaning out the walls today. You've seen me do that. This is a lot of repetition um, because you saw us do the first side and the other house. I'm going to roll down the curtain just a little bit because it is very ammonia-y <laughs> in here this morning. Uh, this litter builds ammonia, so kind of makes it hard to breathe sometimes. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, finally got it. I'm going to let this down so I can breathe a little bit better. It is, I don't know how cool it is this morning, but it is um, not too bad, but we've got a weather system moving in, of course. It is Tuesday, the 31st of January. If you are watching the weather in the south, <clears throat> you know Dallas is getting hammered and coming across. So Mississippi is probably going to drop in some temperature today. It's, it's not bad today, actually. It's probably, and I'll look and see, but it's probably in the 40s. Um, so it's not bad. I'm going to get started on this 250 feet. Clarence is going to come in here and get to move in the litter. I'm going to be going to get Grayson in a little bit. Our day is rolling. All right, we did it. All but 30 feet right there at the fans. Clarence just called and needs me to come and pick him up. So we are going to go and do that. <clears throat> See what's going on there. I gotta go change shoes because I don't want to take these mucky boots into my car. And I didn't come in the truck today, so the Explorer is what I am riding in. So I will go and change shoes, go get him, see what's going on in a little bit. And of course, I can't see my watch. I will go get Grayson, but I think I made good time. Yes, 9.35. So, I have really only done this for about maybe 9.30, maybe 30, 40 minutes. So, not bad. A little bit of an arm workout this morning because it was wet. It gets a kink in your back, too. But it is what it is. We got it done, most of it anyway. So we're leaving that. Gonna go see what Clarence needs. So I went and got Clarence. He was having some tractor issues. We've got a lug nut or something that won't stay tightened. So he went with me to get Grayson, and we stopped at the parts house and got... Um, something <laughs> to fix that with uh, today is just gonna kind of be a bust it's it's not a bad thing he's gonna get that fixed um, our volunteer fire department is getting new turnouts and so the guy is on his way right now with those so Clarence our one will have to meet him at the fire department so I think Clarence is gonna go Not that I'm going to stop and sit down. I've got a lot to do here in the house that I want to do. Um, we just may not be at the chicken house today. Uh, what he has left in house number two looks pretty dry. So I think he's going to move on fairly quickly with that. That will be good. House one, the half that he still has to do. Um, it looks really dry. 
So fingers crossed he will move quickly with that. Now, of course, we have still a few weeks left before we get birds. We don't get birds until March 6th. So we have time. We just want to get everything finished so we can breathe just for a minute. Um, this is kind of that job where it is 24 seven and a lot of times is 365. We have not been on a vacation in about three years. So we're kind of hoping now that we have a few weeks extra that we're gonna be able to either get away or at least sit down and just rest. Kind of hoping we get away. Um, but anyway, we're gonna move forward with our day uh, and we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Tomorrow is another day. He's gonna he's gonna get that tractor tire fixed and get started and he'll be right back in it tomorrow. Now I, I told you this morning there was a system coming in. Uh, Dallas and Memphis especially is getting hammered with this rain and ice and stuff that we're not gonna get. Thank you. Um, but there's going to be a lot of people affected by it. So we, we hope everyone stays safe in that. Our weather is going to be rain here and there. So if we can continue on with the clean out. And yes, sometimes even in the rain. Um, you know, we, we do what we can. But we will start again in the morning. Hey, y'all. It is a raining mess. Mess, I'm telling you. It is 41 degrees, but it does not feel like it. It's a cold rain. Clarence, bless his heart, is working in house one moving litter. Ooh. I am going to go over to house two and finish up scraping down the walls so we can move slats this afternoon. Just a messy day. <clears throat> but at least it's not ice and snow. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna complain too much. Sorry the workroom is dark. I've got to go all the way to the end to get my garden hoe so we can do the walls. Oh, he's already got the skid steer in here ready. That has been cleaned all the way down so we're gonna do cleaning the walls scraping off that concrete runner Clarence and I are gonna set back the fronts the slat fronts and then we are gonna start moving slats and the litter he'll have to remove a little bit from the middle it's it's still let me show you see it's dry but it's got to go too so once we get the slats set back over he'll come in here and get that middle cleaned up and the litter will be done in this house now i'm not saying this house is going to be done there are little things we've got to do as always there's little things those little things is what adds up. We have got little projects to do. We've got to put out rat bait and things like that. We've got to patch a few holes here and there. It's uh, We need to wash down the fans because they've got 10 months worth of dust and gunk on them. So that's the afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and start on the walls and the concrete runner and he's going to keep moving litter in house one and when I give him the signal that I am done over here he'll come over and we will move slats well slat fronts and then slats anyway all in a day all in a day oh y'all I am tired I don't know if I told you in the first little segment I told you the temperature, but today is February 2nd. 
that darn groundhog saw a shadow for somehow, some reason. <laughs> but this is Mississippi, so the weather changes every five minutes. Anyway, got the slat fronts down, put out my rat bait, and Michael walked in. I am so proud to see him because he is going to help move the slats for the final time in house number two. Y'all, today's his birthday. His birthday, and here he is helping us after he has worked all day long in the rain. He's amazing. I'm going home to make him a chocolate pie because that's how that's that's what he likes. We're gonna we gonna make it happen for him. I'm gonna flip you around and let what is going on. Excuse the spider webs and all that. We hadn't got that cleaned up, but this is it. Moving the slats for the final time in house two. Man, does it feel good. They are going to continue on down for 500 feet. They will be finished in probably an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Such a good neighbor such a good neighbor all right that is it we are I I am going to the house it is still raining outside pretty sure I don't know what I did with my shirt oh, I had I worked up sweat in there so let me get my shirt it's one of Clarence's old welded shirts those are the most comfortable comfortable shirts we're gonna look and see what it looks like outside it's probably wet it is it is wet it is raining oh it is cool can you see that let me let me get here i don't know if it showed up or not makes your breath fog up <laughs> we i uh, ugh. I'm going to the house. No, first I'm getting out of these rubber boots that are the most uncomfortable and cold things there is to wear anywhere. They're not the little cutesy ones either. They're the work rubber boots. So, I'm gonna change shoes. I'm gonna go home and make a chocolate pie for the birthday boy. See y'all later. Hey y'all. Figured I would jump on here and let y'all know this side has been a doozy it has been wet Clarence has had trouble it has been bad I'm gonna turn you around and let you see it is awful here we go let's see from one end all the way down and he likes only just a that little hump that he's got to break through and get picked up but it has been awful it is it's been wet the whole way he has had trouble the tractor spins he has to get out of it he has to put dry down it's just one thing after another and he's in a he's you see he's in a hole right now has to have momentum to try to break through that. That actually, see him spinning there? He gotta get traction. That right there is fairly dry that he's got stacked up. But, oh, trying to get in and out is another story. So, he is almost, he is almost finished with that. I am working on the walls. Woo, sorry, 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 sorry. He, I am working on the walls. I have got all the way down where he's loading let me find you down there I've got all the way to there to the front to the front and then this side I have from the fans down to where I'm sitting so I probably have mm, I'm past the winch so I think 150 feet 150 maybe 170 165 170 feet so 
I have all of this down to where he's at now, still to go. Sorry, this lighting is <laughs> playing havoc. It's, 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 oh, the holes we have to patch in the ceiling. We're closer to clean out. We're closer to getting the litter moved out. I should say that. There's still things to do. There's always things to do. But I thought I'd give you a little update. Hey y'all, we are getting shavings today. That is one step closer to getting birds. Let me flip you around and I'll... Let me... And why is that blurry? Okay, there we go. Now, so this truck is loaded with shavings. It is, oh look at that. It is a little bit more coarse than sawdust. And the floor of his trailer, the best I can describe it, it walks. It has two movable floors and it's kind of like, think about a escalator walk or a, you know what I'm talking about. The, uh, the walks you see in the airports. One's going one way, one's going the other, and they're walking the sawdust out of this truck. So, pretty neat. The dogs are all excited this morning. So he will mound this up here, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we should get like four more trucks of this, because, you know, we gotta put them in 500 foot houses, so that's a lot. So once it gets finished, dumping I will show you up close what what the shavings look like but one step closer I don't know if you can see but that's the bottom of the truck it's pretty neat while Clarence is trying to get the skid steer going I'll give you an update we only like that far not far at all. It is windy, 73. It's kind of cloudy. We have a weather system coming in. I know y'all get tired of me saying that, um, but it's supposed to rain again. Joy, joy. But we are almost finished moving slats. It is taking us forever. We have had to replace and repair some. He's gonna pick these up. gonna place it. Grayson's here with us today. We're gonna keep him out of the way as we work. And he's gonna be our supervisor. But let me go help Clarence. We'll see y'all soon. It's been a little bit since I've updated you about the chicken houses. So the last thing I showed you we were getting shavings with the big 18 wheelers. Well while we were on vacation they got put in. So let me turn you around. Yes, level with the slats. It is gorgeous. They did a really good job. Nice and level. It, it, is, it is a very good job. Very pleased. So today, I am getting ready because tonight, or this afternoon when Clarence gets home, uh, we're gonna let down the equipment. Well, some of the equipment, the nest especially. Golly, I'm so tired of them hanging in the air. They make me nervous. That's that is that is them right there. They've been they've been hanging for a little too long. So I have got my broom today, and I'm going down. As you can see, we've got just little things here on the slats, right under where the nest sits. So we're we're going to go and we're moving all of that stuff, kind of either to the side to the back or, or out to the front to the scratch area um, but we're gonna we're gonna clean those off I don't know if you can see because the light but I've done that side already so it's it's getting closer um, we're supposed to get chickens the 13th of March 
which is still a couple of weeks away or a little anyway uh but yeah i'm back in it today just to kind of piddle around and see what i can get done but i'm going to get these slats cleaned off so we can get these nests down in this house tonight because this house this house is finished other than replacing some slats um let me turn you can really see it that way um this right here the slats the slat sticks so i have some slat sticks that need to be replaced all down through the house so we've got to work on that we've got to get the boards uh, right there the slant boards we've got to get those back in that one's in and as you can see they're they're not in the rest of the way so we've got to work on that but I'm gonna just clean off out from underneath the nest which will be straight down through there it's not it's not a bad job so just kind of moving everything out of the way making sure thing is out of the way for them to come down because you don't want them sitting on anything and um, being unlevel because then that means we're gonna have egg problems and we don't want that either so we've got to wash the fans because they are still really dusty and as you can see behind me I have sweet little spider webs um, still the ceiling is still quite dusty um, but Clarence has a backpack blower, leaf blower, <laughs> that works really well and gets all that, that taken care of. So I'm not going to worry about that either. So I'm going to continue on making sure we can get these nests down tonight. And hopefully I'll be able to show you that as it happens. I'll probably be working a drill, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to record and do that all at the same time but anyway progress moving forward another day these nests are coming down finally everybody clarence is at halfway michael's gonna go to the end we're gonna get these down i'm gonna try to show y'all i don't know i'm gonna set up my camera and see how it goes and we'll see if it works they're down well almost we've got to do a little bit of work on a couple of sections because the rivet popped loose but, and we have to have them up just a little bit to feed the trough through the wall into the nest to attach it. So, but, closer to ready. Michael came and helped us this afternoon. But the nest are down. Clarence is going to be able to let the equipment, the feed equipment and the waters down soon. Tomorrow we're going to be working in house two. Progress. Hey y'all. It is. I don't even know what day it is. It's Tuesday. <laughs> My days are all running together. It's Tuesday. We have nest down in both houses. The equipment is still in the air. But one more step. Nest are down. Well, I say down. They're floating about four to six inches because we still got to do a little things but um essentially they're down so shavings nice they're all in our equipment the feed and the water systems are still hanging pretty high um we will let those down probably in the next couple of days um this house we are standing in number one house and this house is essentially finished we have all of our slat sticks replaced. We have our slant boards on. Um, we'll have to let down the waters and do some cleaning on the, the sight tubes and, and things like that. But 
pretty pretty done inside now today and I'll, I'll show you way down on the other end they are washing the fans and Clarence has got the pressure washer out and he's he's going to town on that um, but yeah closer closer today is like I said Tuesday it is March 7th we are getting birds March 13th that's on a Monday so time is clicking so let's go see them washing some fans and i'll show you the outdoor the outside is so pretty today i don't even know what the temperature is but i'm in shorts I, I i won't show you my white legs um the sun is so bright pollen is everywhere and i have a headache because of it clarence is terribly chugged up and everything and he is Mm, not a happy camper today because he's just constantly coughing and yucky and just yeah so let's go outside it's loud but he's washing the fans with the pressure washer grayson is supervising and just about to itch to death to get a hold of that power washing nozzle he's not a fan of the mist but these fans are, they look terrible, the rust and everything, but they're clean. Clarence is working. Well, you can see that he's got two more left to do. He's got the dust and everything on them, but he's doing a really good job. One step closer. Put your feet up under there. There you go. Lay down. Yeah. Lay down. Come on. Come on. Little bit more, huh? Little bit more. Little more. Come on. Come on. Down. My camera's about to die, but Clarence is letting down the equipment. I don't know if you can see. The nest are on the ground. The water is down, and he is letting down the feeding equipment. Let me see if I can get closer so y'all can see. This is what they eat from the chicks or the chickens. That's their feed trough. There's their water lines that all of the chickens drink from. They are coming down. They're about waist high right now on me. And they will go. It'll be about nine inches from the slats when he's got them all down. So this house is pretty finished. He has to let one side down a little bit and then the other, so it kind of, um, so it kind of balances. Um, you can't let one side down all the way and then the other side because they're attached in the middle up at the feed trough. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. That green thing there, that's where they're attached. And so there's two winches that bring them down. But he has to even up, even up, let down, even up. 
it's a pain, but it's there. Getting it all together. Birds are coming Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So this house will be full again. Well, both houses will be full. This house will probably get filled Thursday. Number one house will be Wednesday. So it is Wednesday the 8th. We get chickens the, let's say, Monday and Tuesdays the 13th and 14th. So 15th and 16th. <clears throat> we will be back in business.